The subject of my presentation is actually describe the principle behind the device, the platform which I've developed, as well as description of the setup which illustrate how the platform works. The platform in question is uh, an, uh, what we call an infrared SYN projector. This is the device which uh, provides dynamic infrared uh, SYNs. To start with, uh, I will describe the basic elements of our setup. Uh, element number one is a visible projector. Actually, the starting point is feeding the visible image into this projector, uh, vis the, the dynamic scene. The second element is the chip, which we call the converter chip. And finally, the third element is the device under test, which in this particular case is an infrared camera operating at 10 micron wavelength. I mentioned here that in this demonstration setup, the visible light and the imagery, the, the dynamic scenes, are projected by the visible projector. This is typical of the shelf projector. It is also possible to use other light sources. You can imagine using a laser, which would shine on the chip, again, on the same principle, would hit individual pixels. The pixels would start to radiate infrared radiation, and device under test, camera, could actually capture this radiation. We can also imagine that we would use multiple sources, such as visible projector, combined with a laser, or combined with multiple lasers. Here we show uh, the examples of the function of our demonstration setup. Actually, what you see right now is a split screen. On the left side, you see the visible image being projected on the chip. And on the right side, you see the infrared image recorded by the camera. Actually, in this particular case, the projected image is a static four-bar pattern, which is usually used for characterization of the infrared uh, devices such as cameras and other type of images. And uh, as you can see from, the, from, both, uh, from both pictures, uh, there is a um, high fidelity in terms of correspondence between the image projected as well as the image in generated by the conversion chip. Now we show a second example. And in this particular case, we, we are talking really about the uh, dynamic stain projection. Again, on the left side, you, you see a video sequence, actually visible video sequence. And on the right side, you see a reproduction of the same video sequence when they uh, generate in, in the, at the infrared wavelengths of 10 micron as recorded by the infrared camera. In this particular case, for the fans, this is uh, Blade Runner 1, movie very popular a few years ago. Again, you can enjoy the visible image on the left and the uh, infrared image on the right. The second sequence uh, show uh, a little bit a different scenario. Actually, the image being fed into the visible projector is the image recorded in the infrared. So actually, we see a conversion of the image recorded in the infrared. Now it's being transformed into visible image. In the visible sequence, visible image is being projected on the chip. And the chip, again, is transforming it basically from the visible to the infrared. So in a sense, when you observe the split screen, on the red side, you see the, red, the infrared image being fed into the projector. And the right, uh, right side, you see the infrared image generated by the converter chip.